Hey everybody, so in the interest of me trying to get used to this camera, I'm gonna do my vlog with my GoPro for no good reason. But um, I need to learn how to use this darn camera so um, I will have it for Gen Con and everything will be fabulous. Uh, I'm sure this will be just fine. Um, my intention is to show you a couple of the games I've picked up that I probably won't be able to play before Gen Con but want to. Um, I do have my friend Nicholas in town this weekend so there's some potential here for some of these to get played but Nicholas tends to like the heavier stuff so most of this is pretty fluffy light. Um, also the background noise, I'm sorry I can't close that window, it's so darn warm. My face is probably bright red right now. but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of noise. Uh, it'll be just like the con. See, we're practicing way more than we thought. So let me show you a couple of the games and um, then we'll see how bad this footage is. And I didn't clean my house before this, so it's very possible there is weird stuff in the background. I apologize again. <laughs> I'm winning all over today. So uh, first I picked up a game called uh, Seven Card Samurai. Let's do this little zoomy woo. It's so hard to tell what's going to be on screen and what's not. So I want to get like that. So Seven Card Samurai. Um, it's from Mind Twister. Mind Twister made uh, a game called Rapello, which I absolutely love and I make people play all the time. Um, Rapello is like one of those really great little um, abstracts that you never hear about. So Seven Card Samurai. Um, this one has just really pretty cards in it. Let me show you. So um, you can see they're just giant and like really pretty art. Um, and it's, it's a hand management kind of gotcha game. It's really, really, really light, but uh, it's just so beautiful. And you get this like big bag of rice tokens and stuff. Um, I think they had some production issues. If you can see on the side of the box, you can actually see that um, it's double papered. So I'm not sure what happened with that. Um, we're going to leave these in a big pile right now. Um, next is Beyond Baker Street. It's happening. It's happening. So uh, Beyond Baker Street was uh, from Z-Man Games. Um, my friends Robin and Steve made it. Uh, it is sort of like a Hanabi. I know they're going to be really mad at me for mentioning it, but uh, it's, it's like Hanabi, uh, but it's supposed to be a little bit harder to beat. Um, and it has uh, this really beautiful art, and they did some, like, interesting choices for the the design and everything it's a really like overly designed little box um so it's a 35 dollar game that comes in the same size box as traders of osaka which is kind of maddening but you know whatever um next we have prospectus um this one was done by chad krizan or krizan or I, I just know him as chatty boy online um he works with bgg and this is his first game and it's mr b games and fun again games and i'm really excited to try it it has a cube tower um kind of like a you know regular cube tower but they made it in a shape of a giant crystal ball like a plastic crystal ball um i read through the rules i haven't played it yet and it's been traveling around in my game bag for like a week and a half. Um, next uh, we have, ah, it's gonna look awful for a minute. Oh gosh, everything's the worst. The Nebula. Um, so this is Martin Wallace um, and it's uh, definitely a little bit of a lighter game. And oh my gosh, I'm going to have to become an expert on how to open games with one hand. Cause I see people do it all the time. <laughs> they do it. Oh my gosh. So Space Cowboys. And um, Via Nebula looks like a really pretty, fun resource management game. Um, we, we, we noted on Twitter the other day that this character was just drawn with some wonky boobs, but um, I think they might have been shopped after the fact or something, I don't know. But uh, then you'll see how fabulous this insert really is. Everything kind of has its place and like, the different shaped resources have differently shaped i don't know if you can tell that like that's a pig it's so cute i love it um i will i also got this cool little promo for it too which is really pretty um last but not least uh we have the new sunrise city expansion um i don't know that i've seen anyone with this online except for two people so i'm feeling very fancy right now that i have it i really really hope to get this on the table this weekend um i have the base game and i haven't played it in a pretty good long while but 
um, for four players, it is my favorite city building game I've played yet. And it's it's way light, like it's not a super heavy game or anything, but it is really fun. Um, so let me show you a couple of the tiles. So <laughs> learning how to use this GoPro, but these are the new tiles. They're weirdly shiny, but um, they're beautiful. Uh, you get a big chunky thing, you get a couple meeples, you get this really lame looking die. I don't know if I'm loving the die. Um, and then you get uh, some of the cards for it. Um, I will be reading through this little rule packet pretty soon. Um, but overall, it's just gorgeous. And the game itself was so beautiful in the first place that I cannot wait to try it. Um, but that's that's all of my unplayed stuff I really, really need to get played right now. And um, I'm going to chop this video together, hopefully, and I will post it. I'm also posting a quick vlog about Gen Con and my life and what the heck happened in July. Uh, so I will link that below. Uh, nice to see y'all, and I will see you in Indy. Bye!